right, hey David, how's it going? Thanks for giving this video rundown a go. I think it'll work out better because it's just kind of easier for me to show you as I demonstrate you what we're doing. And then I emailed you that uh, rundown, so there's a little bit of a write-up to kind of refresh your memory. So hopefully you can watch the video once, maybe twice, and then once you kind of get the form cues down, you can just go to that sheet and see uh, you know, the order and everything, and with a couple of form key reminders just to help keep you going. But without further ado, let's get after it. So we'll do some legs first. We did this one last time with my kettlebell. Since you don't have a kettlebell, you'll have to use your power block here. So what you're gonna do is set this up for 35 pounds. What I like to do with the power block is kind of hold it like this, kind of diagonally. What you wanna do is keep that uh, weight right on your chest actually. So have the weight touch your chest. Your feet are in squat position just outside hip width. And you're gonna go down into a squat. So like we talked about, this is the front squat, so it wants to pull you forward. So you really have to keep that weight back, keep that chest up, get nice and low, drive those hips forward, and come on up. So in the first set, you got 20. Second set, you got 15. So somewhere uh, 15 to 20 reps with that 35 pound weight. That's number one. We'll go to abs next. So this is kind of like the V sit we did but uh, you have a little bit of a twist too. So no weight needed, real simple setup. You're getting down, uh, sitting down on your butt, knees about at 90, heels in the ground, leaning back, and then once you're in that position, you're just gonna kinda twist as far as you can each way, nice and smooth, medium pace, while staying leaned back. So if you count a full twist as one, I'm thinking about 15, will give those abs a pretty good burn. All right, so next up, let's go with some chest press here. Um, you can roll with the 35 pound like you did for the goblet squat, or if you want just a little bit more of a challenge, I think 40 pounds would be good too. So if you don't mind switching the weights, maybe make it 40. This is one that was in one of your circuits before, but I'll just give you a little bit of a reminder. I like this one for you because you can, uh, you know, keep the weights together for that chest press to give your shoulder a little more stability. You're kind of coming straight down and straight up. Keep your mind right in your chest. Really kind of push from there, use your pecs. Breathe out when you push up. Make sure those weights stay stable and together. And you know, 15 to 20 reps of those two. Um, you know, if I'm there, I think we're gonna go up in weight. Since you don't have a spotter, I think 40 is probably a, a pretty good cruising weight for that one. Uh, let's do a superset next for the triceps. You just push those dumbbells, which is a lot of that muscle. Let's head to your cable machine for those tricep pull downs. 15 was a little too heavy, so last time we rolled with 13, that was a really good, uh, really good weight. So remember, you got the either, either, either the rope or like that uh, triangular one. You want those elbows right at your side, slight forward lean, just extending those elbows. Keep those arms in. You should feel it right in the back of your arm there. So last time you got 18 reps by level 13. Staying at the squat, I'm sorry, at the cable machine, switch that weight to 15. Also, those handles. So you want like the two handles on one, so you got that nice grip like this. And this is that tricky one, that squat to row. But you've been good at it. You just gotta remember, so you gotta kinda start here, as you're, you're gonna start in the squat, so your weight's back, your arms are all the way out. What you're gonna do is stand up and row at the same time. So you're gonna get a little bit of a leg drive through those glutes. You're obviously pulling, so that's uh, bicep, shoulder, lat. So you're gonna coordinate the stand up and the row. And the tricky part here is letting out your arms and keeping your weight back. So you gotta kinda of move forward with the arms and back with the body weight to stay balanced and under control. If you're not keeping your weight back, it's gonna to wanna to pull you too far forward. So really focus on boom, up, and then weight back as your arms go out. So you're using the stack for that one. See how many you can get. 15 to 20 should be good. All right, rolling right along here. That was just a little bit of legs and arms, so now let's go back to core. We're gonna do that plank on the BOSU with those side steps. So for, I'll show you the upper body part first. Remember, you want your elbows just south of halfway on that BOSU. You wanna square everything up, shoulder and elbow lined up, 
forearms parallel into that nice plank. And then what you're going to do with those feet, remember, to create a little bit of instability is this. Side step, back, side step, back. So you had a pretty good pace to that one before. Uh, picking up those feet, going side to side, creates a little bit of instability that makes it harder on your core. Make sure you're really locked in with that upper body, fighting against that instability to stay nice and stable on the BOSU. Okay, exercise number seven. We're gonna do a hip bridge. So you got either that 35 or that 40. Both of those would be pretty good for this one. Another glute exercise here. You're laying down, feet are flat, knees right about at 90 degrees. You got that weight right over your hips. All you're gonna do is, boom, extend those hips up, down nice and slow under control, tap the butt back down, and right back up. So this is a good mind in your muscle exercise. You definitely wanna engage your glutes rather than your hamstrings, so put your mind right in your glutes, drive up from there. I'm thinking 20 reps with that 35 or 40 should be just about right. Real simple one next. We are gonna definitely do a little bit of a weight change on this one. So make those power blocks 20s like I have them here. Real simple one here. You're gonna split your stance, one foot in front of the other, standing up straight, core tight. Just some dumbbell curls, right? So you wanna go nice and slow under control, keeping those arms a little bit out in front of you. So what you don't wanna do is that arm swing or that lean back. So your core's engaged, standing up straight, arms a little bit forward and just bust out as many curls as you can. Thinking about 15 with the 20s should be just about right. And one more here. A little bit of a cardio blast to end it. We did this one last workout once. It's gonna be that burpee on the bench. So you have your flat bench. Your first move will be to kind of plant your hands on the bench. Then you're gonna hop back into a plank. Hop back, get your feet under you and up. So in real time, look something like this. Feet out, feet in, up. Hands down, feet out, feet in, up. Hands down, feet out, feet in, up. Another option for this, or if you wanna do both of these, another cardio one, same position with the hands. You start one leg all the way back, front leg bent. You're gonna hop, kinda switch your feet. Boom, boom, boom. Those mountain climbers are a good option from that one too. So we got a nice full body circuit, a little bit of everything. Please let me know if you have any questions or anything like that and let me know how it goes. And check out Melissa's email, you should have that right up too. Thanks so much, hope you had a great weekend at the farm. See you on Wednesday.